Okay, everybody, this is my spoiler review of the Penguin finale. So in this episode, we start with Julian Rush now doing his thing towards Francis. And this is an interesting way they're going to have Sophia figure out what happened between Francis and Oz and really get to the core of their relationship. And Julian has Francis go back to the heat of her and her grief after losing her two boys. And we learn this is actually right before she has her big dance with Oz and that there's more to that story, which I thought was amazing surprise. We see that she was previously visited by Oz's hero Rex. And he's the one who says basically there's two options you have with this kid that you can embrace his loyalty and use it to your advantage, or we could have him taken care of. What's crazy is she decides to have him killed and was going to have Rex kill Oz that night of the dance. But luckily, Oz made this amazing speech to her to not give up on him. I also thought it was very interesting that she did end up finding out that Oz was there and what he did and that his flashlight was in his coat and he didn't say anything and they locked them inside. And you see that she explains he wanted me all to himself. That's why I point out in last episode's flashback that jealousy he had of his brothers around his mom. And I love the line. She says, I got the devil in my house, Rex. And we'll see that line get paid off later. I also love at the club that she has the classic penguin long cigarette holder. So I hope we'll eventually see that as we're seeing the penguin's true form come to life here in front of our eyes. I love also when little Oz says, I know you miss him, I do too, and her face is just like, what the F? And I love how they cut in Julian and Sophia talking to her in the club. That was very surreal. So it perfectly leads into present time now. We see Oz is tied up across from his mom who's tied up, and this is exactly what Sophia wanted. She wants to torture Oz as personal as she can. She tells their story in the version of a bird story, and she's like, why are you both so afraid of the truth? She reveals to Oz that Francis asked Rex to originally kill him. And you see that Sophia is about to chop off Francis's pinky unless Oz admits what he did and explains why. But he still denies it, and that's why Sophia's terrified that he was willing to have his mom's finger get cut off before admitting something wrong. But then you see Francis fully tells the truth to Oz. That's the difference here. She says, I always knew what you did. And he's like, it's just your disease talking. And she says, I hate you for what you did. I never stopped hating you. Some great acting here by both actors. And you see Sophia says, you would have let me cut it off. You don't care about her enough, not like you say. Which I find so interesting because we know he does really care about his mom. But there is truth to that too. That at the end of the day, Oz is about Oz over anything else, even his mother. And I love the line they had here where Francis says to Oz, I had enough to give all three of you. You didn't have to leave them down there. I should have let Rex kill you and I had the chance. Stabs him with the glass and says, you're the devil, the goddamn devil. So there's that payoff from the devil line in the flashback, which is just really, really good. And when she sees the vision of her boys who died and sees Oz one last time as his kid self, she says sorry to the boys and she has her stroke. It was just so much for her. Now, Penguin's able to break out of his restraints. It's a little silly, but I can forgive it for how amazing this episode actually is. And I love when he's escaping with Francis that he shoots the guy who caught him right through the eye after he takes a drop. That was such a cool shot. And then Victor gives Oz a pep talk at the hospital. Like, you gave people jobs on Crown Point. You got the power back on, gave people dignity. So he's always feeding Oz's ego. Meanwhile, Sophia gets right to it and asks the gang leaders who wants the Falcone estate in exchange for Oz because right now, as we see, they're not loyal to Oz anymore. They think he's dead anyway at first, so they all just kind of gave up on him. So they're open to be taken back. And that's where Victor gets a call from Link. Where's Oz? But we don't see. It's actually Victor who has the brilliant plan of getting Link on their side still. I mean, Victor bails out Oz so much in the show, and it fittingly happens here in the finale, which makes it so much more tragic. Now, I also love they have Oz go into City Hall, and he lets Sebastian Haiti know that Sophia is the one who did the bombing, but blames everything on Sophia, including killing the Maronis. And he tells Sebastian Haiti this will make him a hero, and what he wants in return is welcome into the City Hall to be accepted. And Haiti will say, you want to be welcome? You got to look clean. So this got me so excited. That was the confirmation that we were going to get the really accurate 
penguin look we know and love. So Zal will tell Sophia he got penguin. This leads to another great scene in this finale where Sophia just burns the whole estate. And I love the lighting of the three cigarettes, one for each room. And she tortures her father's clothes, his office, and the family portrait. Just a beautifully shot scene. And you see, she meets Zhao at the airport, but can sense right away Penguin got one more trick up his sleeve. And we see Victor got linked to turn, and she knows at this moment she's lost. She could have just got away and not gotten her revenge on Oz, and she went too far here. And they go for a drive like old times. And I love Oz has all the gang leaders who betrayed him killed, really making him the king here, like he says. And you see where Oz reads Sophia wrong is he doesn't actually think Sophia is someone who knows that feeling of looking up in someone's boot on their neck. But she totally is. Even though she did come from a different type of background, she has always had that experience of being put down by people above her. So in a way, that is where they are a lot alike in that experience. And I love Sophia's line to Oz about Francis saying, she knew it from the beginning, you have always been a monster. And this is why I treasure this show, because it kept a villain a villain, where I'm looking at some of the Marvel shows there where they do a show like Loki, and all of a sudden, he's a good guy. So I like that they're keeping it true to the character. And then they show Oz has the gun to the back of Sophia's head, and... Another great surprise is he doesn't kill her. He gives her something worse than death, a ticket back to Arkham, her worst fear. And then Oz goes to celebrate at the hospital with his mom, but she is in a vegetative state. Now, he's telling her, I took it all from everybody. I'm finally the effing king. And he says, just once tell me you're proud of me. Just once I did it all for you. Colin Farrell's acting here is spectacular. And this sets up an amazing payoff in one of the final scenes, which we'll get to. But my favorite moment of this episode, which pays off the whole season so well and blew me away and shocked me, was when Oz sits with Victor on the bench and he says to him, he thinks she forgives me. And Victor says, for what? And he goes, I don't know, all kinds of things. Still doesn't admit it. But that was our closest to him admitting what he did to his brothers of the whole show. And he, Oz tells Victor he couldn't do any of this without him. And Victor says, thanks for taking a chance on me, taking me in your family to me. And then Oz says, I can't bring you with me this time. That's the thing about family. It drives you, but it also makes you weak. And I can't have that anymore. And he strangles him. I couldn't believe this moment. I was shocked and I loved it. I was thinking Victor was set up for Batman too, but it looks like he's not coming along, unfortunately. The actor's great. I hope he gets looked at for Miles Morales. He'd be great at that. But man, was this a heartbreaking scene, but totally makes Oz even more villainous. So really leaning into him becoming this big villain worthy of the Batman. And you see that Oz drops Victor's license into the water as it floats away. So sad. I really just not did not see that coming. And it was like the big surprise of the show where I had said in some previous reviews that sometimes the show was lacking surprises that weren't predictable. But this really changed my mind on that. Like that was a huge, huge feeling of payoff for the whole season in that relationship. Bravo. Now, Sophia is in her worst hell in Arkham with Julian still as her doctor. She's completely broken but gets a letter from her half-sister Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman, a.k.a. Zoe Kravitz. This gives her a smile. So you wonder what's on that letter. This does confirm her for some participation in Batman too. So we'll see where that goes. I'd love to hear theories on that and that relationship. But now we get the ultimate payoffs of payoffs where Oz got his purple ride back. He's got a top hat and the bow tie. And these are so well set up that he'd have even that kind of look in top hat because of him watching Top Hat with his mom in the flashback. He looks fresh. He's got his nice penthouse. But here's the real tragedy of all is his mom, he's keeping in that vegetative state looking at the city view. He did not kill her like she asked him to. She never wanted to be in this state ever. He couldn't do it. And you see that little teardrop from her? I think that's her just being miserable in that situation. And he's spinning it like, I know it's everything you wanted. Like the city view, the penthouse, just insanity. And that's what you want in a villain, to be that insane. And then he has Eve role-playing as his mother. Wow. I don't even know where to go with that. And they do the dance that changed his life. And he's like, tell me you're proud of me. 
And Eve says, as his mom, Gotham's yours, sweetheart. Nothing's standing in your way now. This is like what he wanted to happen. This is the ending he wanted of the story with his mom that he never got to live. And he says back, you're goddamn right. And it perfectly leans up to who will be in his way, which is the Batman and that bat signal. Unbelievable. I mean, this finale to me did everything right. Everything was paid off. Everything felt like it was earned through the whole season and came to such a satisfying conclusion with not just the characters' arcs, but their relationships with each other from Sophia to the Penguin, Oz and Victor, and Oz and his mother. It's that focus on how good they wrapped up the stories of the relationships with these characters and building Oz and having growth in a darker way for Oz and Victor growing in a darker way. All these characters changing by the end. Everything here made sense. It was so satisfying, and the acting blew me away. The music was great. The cinematography was spectacular. Every scene counted in this finale, and it was filled with great scenes. It is a 10 for me. Perfect. I love it, and it makes this series just be so memorable for me. And the big bravo is to Lauren LaFranc, who is the showrunner who pulled this off. This show didn't have big expectations. I don't think anyone expected it to be this good. I did not expect this finale to be this good, but it was. So I cannot wait to see what she does next. I hope they hand her more Batman stuff. Just give her the keys. She's incredible. So it's exciting always to see someone in the TV world who can do something like this. And this is a prime example of why I love television is this episode because it literally shows you the time you can spend a little longer of having that backstory fleshed out with the penguin and his mom where that had to go through two episodes to see all that, which was very important. Where in a movie that would be condensed to like a 10 minute flashback that you still don't feel enough to really feel the payoffs at the end and the connection of the character. So just an amazing freaking season, an amazing episode. So yeah, I'm giving it a 10. Please subscribe so I miss one of my reviews. I'm also going to be reviewing Silo at the moment. And I also do celebrity interviews. So I really appreciate all you guys coming along the journey for the show with me. And please stick around with me. It helps in so many ways. If you subscribe, you have no idea. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below. And I'll see you next time.